Remember those old movies depicting trains, the ones that took us on a journey through time with their black and white frames capturing the essence of a bygone era. The ones with the rhythmic clickety clack of wheels rolling over tracks, a sound that was almost hypnotic in its repetition, a soundtrack synonymous with journeys long and short. It was a melody that accompanied every departure and arrival, a constant companion to travelers. That iconic sound, once a ubiquitous serenade of rail travel, has mysteriously vanished from modern train journeys. The familiar clickety-clack is now a rare occurrence. Today, trains glide along tracks with a newfound quietude, moving almost silently through the landscape, leaving behind the symphony of clicks and clacks as a relic of the past. This transformation has left many wondering what caused this change, what magical innovation silenced the tracks, what technological advancement brought about this serene silence. The answer lies not in the trains themselves, but in a fundamental transformation of the very ground they traverse. The tracks have undergone a significant evolution. The the disappearance of the clickety-clack points to a revolution in railway construction, the advent of continuous welded rail, or CWR. This innovation has reshaped the way tracks are laid. To understand this innovation, we must first delve into the reasons behind the existence of the sound itself, a consequence of a once necessary evil in track construction. Expansion joints. These joints were essential to accommodate the expansion and contraction of metal rails due to temperature changes, but they also created that familiar sound. Now, with CWR, the tracks are seamless and the clickety-clack is no more. The traditional railway tracks before the widespread adoption of continuous welded rail, CWR, were constructed with expansion joints at regular intervals. These joints were a common sight on railways around the world, a testament to the engineering challenges faced by early railway builders. These joints, essentially gaps deliberately left between sections of rail, served a crucial purpose, accommodating the expansion and contraction of steel rails in response to fluctuating temperatures. Without these gaps, the integrity of the rail system would be compromised. Steel, like most materials, expands when heated, and contracts when cooled. This natural phenomenon is particularly pronounced in long stretches of railway track which can experience significant temperature variations. Without these expansion joints, the continuous lengths of steel rails exposed to the relentless heat of the sun or the biting cold of winter would have nowhere to expand or contract. This could lead to severe structural issues. This could lead to a phenomenon known as track buckling, where the rails deform under immense stress, potentially causing derailments and wreaking havoc on the railway line. Track buckling is a serious safety concern that can disrupt rail services and endanger lives. Expansion joints, while necessary, were not without their drawbacks. They introduced points of vulnerability in the rail system, which could lead to other issues over time. The gaps, while small, created the characteristic clickety-clack sound as train wheels passed over them, a constant reminder of their presence. This sound, while nostalgic for some, indicated the mechanical stresses at play. Moreover, these joints were points of inherent weakness in the track structure, prone to wear and tear from the constant impact of passing trains. Over time, this wear could lead to significant damage, necessitating repairs. This necessitated frequent maintenance and replacement, adding to the complexities and costs of railway upkeep. Engineers and maintenance crews had to be vigilant, constantly monitoring the condition of the tracks to ensure safety and reliability. The limitations and drawbacks of traditional jointed tracks paved the way for a groundbreaking innovation continuous welded rail, or CWR. As the name suggests, CWR involves welding together lengths of rail to form a continuous seamless track, eliminating the need for expansion joints altogether. This seemingly simple change revolutionized railway construction and ushered in a new era of smoother, quieter and more efficient train travel. CWR addressed the inherent issues of jointed tracks head-on. With no joints to create noise, trains could now glide along the tracks, their passage marked by a quiet hum rather than the rhythmic clatter of old. The absence of joints also meant a smoother ride for passengers, free from the jolts and vibrations caused by the gaps. The secret behind CWR's seamless tracks lies in a powerful welding technique known as thermite welding. 
This process, capable of generating incredibly high temperatures, creates a bond between rail sections that is as strong as, if not stronger than, the rail itself. Thermite welding utilizes a chemical reaction between a metal oxide, usually iron oxide, and a reactive metal, typically aluminum. When ignited, this mixture undergoes an exothermic reaction, producing molten iron at temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Celsius or 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This molten iron flows into a mold surrounding the rail ends, fusing them together upon cooling and solidifying. The intense heat of the reaction melts the rail ends, ensuring a complete and homogeneous bond, effectively turning two separate rails into a single continuous piece. Conquering thermal expansion, the CWR solution. The elimination of expansion joints in continuous welded rail might seem counterintuitive given the inherent nature of steel to expand and contract with temperature changes. However, CWR ingeniously addresses this challenge through a combination of careful planning and engineering. Firstly, CWR tracks are laid and fixed in place at a predetermined neutral temperature. This temperature represents the average temperature the rails are expected to experience over their lifespan. When the temperature rises above this neutral point, the rails naturally try to expand. However, since they are anchored firmly to the sleepers, the expansion translates into longitudinal stress within the rails. Conversely, when the temperature drops below the neutral point, the rails attempt to contract, resulting in longitudinal tension. Ballast and tension, keeping the rails true. The success of CWR in handling thermal expansion lies in a delicate balancing act between the rails, the sleepers, and the ballast, the layer of crushed stone that supports the sleepers and provides drainage. This intricate system ensures that the track remains stable and safe for the trains that pass over it daily. The ballast plays a crucial role in distributing the weight of the train and resisting the longitudinal forces generated by temperature-induced expansion and contraction. Without this layer of crushed stone, the track would be susceptible to shifts and misalignments. When the rails try to expand, the ballast resists this movement, effectively absorbing the compressive force. This resistance is vital in maintaining the integrity of the track structure. Similarly, when the rails try to contract, the ballast resists this as well, absorbing the tensile force. This dual action of the ballast ensures that the rails remain in their proper position. This resistance from the ballast ensures that the expansion and contraction are kept in check, preventing the rails from buckling or pulling apart. The stability provided by the ballast is crucial for the safety and reliability of the railway system. Furthermore, the rails are installed with a specific amount of pretension, essentially a controlled internal stress. This pretensioning process is meticulously calculated to ensure optimal performance. This pretension helps to counteract the forces of expansion and contraction, further enhancing the stability of the track. By combining the effects of ballast and pretension, the railway system achieves a remarkable balance, ensuring smooth and safe train operations. A symphony of benefits, quieter, safer and more efficient. The adoption of CWR has brought about a symphony of benefits for railways, passengers and the environment. The most immediate and noticeable advantage is, of course, the drastic reduction in noise pollution. With no joints to create the clickety-clack sound, CWR tracks offer a significantly quieter ride, benefiting both passengers and communities living near railway lines. The absence of joints also translates to a smoother and more comfortable ride as trains no longer experience the jolts and vibrations associated with passing over gaps. This smoother ride reduces wear and tear on both the rolling stock and the tracks themselves, leading to lower maintenance costs and increased lifespan of railway infrastructure. CWR also enhances safety by eliminating the weak points inherent in jointed tracks. CWR, the backbone of modern rail travel. Continuous welded rail has become the backbone of modern rail infrastructure, its benefits far outweighing the initial challenges of implementation. Its ability to provide a smoother, quieter and more efficient railway system has solidified its place as the preferred track construction method for high-speed lines, heavy-haul freight routes and even urban transit systems. The next time you board a train, pay attention to the subtle hum of the wheels on the tracks, a testament to the silent revolution that transformed rail travel. The absence of the clickety-clack is not just a matter of reduced noise, it signifies a leap forward in efficiency, safety and passenger comfort, all thanks to the ingenious simplicity of continuous welded rail.